Hello bears, what is up and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be giving you my makeup routine, how I keep my makeup looking flawless and whatever. I've been asked to do a makeup tutorial for a really long time now and I've been contemplating on doing it, but I just kept like procrastinating, procrastinating. And today is the day that I'm finally filming this makeup tutorial for you guys. So if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. If you've been on this channel and you have not subscribed, please subscribe, like this video, leave a comment down below. Let's jump right into the video. So like I said, I'm doing a guide to an everyday flawless makeup look. This makeup look is called an everyday makeup look because this is my routine. This is my current routine um, that I use. Either it's a quick day out, either it's a quick errand look, either it's for a glammed up dinner. This is the makeup routine that I follow for each and every one of my makeup looks currently and it's been really working out for me and the thing about this routine is if you're doing it in a hurry perfect if you have all the time in the world to do it perfect it will still come out looking great so sit back relax enjoy this makeup tutorial that i'm about to do and i hope that you enjoy the video this is going to be as detailed as possible i'm going to try my best to make sure that i explain everything thoroughly so that you know it's also beginner friendly either you want to look like you're not trying either you want to look like you're trying this is like the basis of it like you can kind of manipulate it to make it look how you want it to look you can manipulate it to look glam you can manipulate it to look absolutely soft so the first thing is i'm gonna want a base that is like proper you don't want your skin to be too dry or too oily underneath the makeup so i'm just going to use this moisturizer i only use this moisturizer when i'm doing my makeup because i do want to make sure that my skin is properly hydrated when i'm doing my makeup and don't forget your spf so let's actually get into it <laughs> now that we are all moisturized i'm going to take my setting spray got to be glue and i'm going to use that to just like brush my eyebrows up so that i have that like the six like i don't want any stray eyebrows just spraying the end of my spoolie and then i'm just gonna brush my eyebrows up sharp pencil carve the bottom it's basically like an arc and then i'm gonna do the same on the other side i'm gonna go on the top like this go straight and bring it all the way down and i'm gonna do the same on this side so that's the first shape the general first shape after that i'm going to fill the ends bringing it in with light strokes and i'm gonna end here so that i'll be able to create that ombre effect okay my spoolie and I'm going to brush everything up up and out I'm gonna get my it is a foundation but what I normally do is I don't use those like bright bright concealers because I don't like a too bright looking under eye so I usually just use a lighter shade of foundation as my concealer so that is what i'm going to use to have under my eyebrows on my eyelids and under my eye so i'm going to start with this brush squirm two pumps to start with on the back of my hand so when you hear me saying concealer i'm talking about my light foundation because i actually don't I wear concealer i'm not a big fan of concealer so and then we're just going to do the same on the other side and you might want to raise your eyebrows for it's easier to work that way i also want to say learn your face structure and do makeup looks that enhance your natural features we're going to move on to this brush which is slightly wider i want you to pay attention to the difference this is the one that I was working with before. This is the one that I'm working with now. I'm just gonna go on my eyelid and down the side of my nose and under my eyes. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. Are we still together, class? After that, I'm gonna go in with my 
light illusion this foundation yeah i feel like i've got lighter this is now the darker one which i'm going to be applying on the rest of the parts of my face and we're going to do two pumps again i'm going to go in again with those two brushes that i went in with the lighter foundation starting with the smaller brush to carve the top of my eyebrows now we're just you know making them related they might not be twins honey but they need to at least look like sisters so this is the part the cleaning up part is where you can really try your best to make them look related and then we're gonna move on to this brush the one that i showed you guys earlier and i'm just gonna apply that to my nose bridge and then my forehead this is also my form of contour i don't contour crazy because i've already got quite sharp features so this is all the contour that i do by using like two different shades of foundation that is my contour before i start blending i'm just going to spray my face with setting spray and then i'll start blending and for this next stage i use this brush, which is again slightly bigger, to just get into everything and blend. So ideally, you want to start by blending the light parts only before you start to ombre. Because you don't want a crazy contrast. You want a smooth blend. We don't want to see that this foundation ended here. This foundation started here. Now my nose into that lighter foundation now i'm going to start blending the dark parts into the light parts and i'm going to blend my forehead as well that is the first blend and then after the first blend i'm gonna go in with this brush so that was like i call it the wet blend after the wet blend, I'm going to go with the dry blend. There's literally nothing on this brush. So I'm just going to go over everything, starting from the lighter parts, going into the dark parts. And I'm also going to just go in the middle here to make my eyebrows look like they're fading to the center. We are going to be going in with a pressed powder. I use the Fit Me Maybelline Matte and Poreless. This is the one um, in this shade. I know it looks light, but like once I blend it onto my face, you're gonna be like, wow, girl, period. And for that, I use this brush. It's like, it perfectly blends everything in like a way that I like. So I will never cheat on her when it comes to applying my pressed powder. And one thing about this makeup girl it will sit like it will stay you know and i also want to set my eyebrows so that they don't shine you know and after applying my pressed powder onto my face i'm gonna go in with my palladio forever ever banana loose powder with green tea and i'm just going to apply that on my under eye and my t-zone and then i'm gonna take my beauty blender and i'm just going to use that to press everything under my eye this is to just bake everything so this is also low-key contouring my nose and then i'm gonna go back with that same brush i dipped it into the press powder and i'm gonna do my t-zone so these parts for me are important to set because these parts are prone to becoming shiny. Blending everything. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to go in with this brush. It's revolution. And then I'm just going to apply my blush, honey. So this is how I apply it. I apply the brush at, 
yo the blush not the brush at like an angle the application angle does all the contouring for me then i'm just gonna apply some on my nose as well some on my eyelid you can barely see it but that's just how i clean my brush i use the sleek makeup palette for my highlight and i'm gonna go in for this one it's like a loose highlight i don't like cream anything like cream bronzer cream highlight cream contour cream blush mm -mm. on my cheekbone there nose bridge cupid's bow and then i'm gonna go in with this brush it's like way thinner than the first one this one is more you know sharp and, and then with that brush i'm just gonna go into my inner eye that like teardrop effect i love it so like i said this same routine you can lighten your hand if you want if you're going for like a soft glam or you can apply the makeup with a heavy hand when you're going for something a bit more glam so i'm gonna take my pencil liner again and then i'm gonna go on my bottom lid Um, now that we've done my bottom lid, we're gonna go in with my Kiss Beauty eyeliner. This one's actually, it's like a liquid liner, but it's about to finish. So I got this one and it's so small. Like they didn't have anything bigger. And I'm like, are you joking? Like I want to buy something big that will last me. And then I'm gonna do my cat eye. And for my cat eye, what I do is I, I want this angle. And then you're going to press here, bring it all the way down. And then you're gonna press the corner most end of your eye and join that line. And then I'm gonna fill everything in. So my eyeliner also changes depending on what I'm going for on the day. For example, today I'm not wearing eyelashes, so I only end my eyeliner here. But if I were wearing eyelashes, I'd need to bring the liner all the way from here down to join the corner of the cat eye so that when my eyelashes sit, they look, you know, nice and like natural blended in. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. And you also want them to look like related, you know. And then I'm gonna do my inner eye to create that like fox eye look. I definitely am one to go for siren eyes and not doe eyes. I want to be sharp and dark feminine, confident, intimidating, you know what I mean? I think the eyes do a lot when it comes to what vibe you're trying to give off with your makeup. And then after that, I'm just gonna set everything again. This, ladies and gentlemen, will make your makeup flawless. My boyfriend likes to touch my face a lot and kiss my face a lot, but this makeup routine, girl, it's not gonna budge. My fan is far. <laughs> my fan is so far, so I'm just, I'm being ghetto right now. But after that, I'm just gonna go in with my mascara. And then I'm also going to do my bottom lashes. And then after that, <laughs> where actually is it? The way I laid everything on my bed and I still can't find anything. I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Dark Wine. But just like a little bit, you know? Like a little, little bit. Lip liner. That's my lip combo, you guys. You know, as black girls, we don't have to overline our lips. And then after that, I'm gonna go in with my this Kim lip gloss. Where are you, girl? Stop playing. <laughs> this Kim lip gloss, and then I'm just gonna put it on top. So this is like my universal everyday makeup look. 
that I use, that I abuse. <laughs> so if it's like for an event, this is like a, a cute soft glam, but at the same time, if I were to be going somewhere, I just, you know, pop on some lashes. But this is basically it. We have come to the end. Let me just... So that is pretty much my makeup tutorial. You guys should definitely try it out and send me your recreations on Instagram. My DMs are open. If you do try this out, let me know. Give me some feedback. Show me how it went out for you because I think I actually quite explained it properly and well. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. We have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Don't forget to share. Let's keep growing our little family. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Love you.